circumcised. The day I, the way I eschew the flesh of the swine, you do the same. No, 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 you don't want to follow him. We Muslims, we are the true Christians in that we are following Jesus Christ. No, but now when we say that, the Christians, we are attacking them. We are attacking them. I say, I'm only presenting to you the case is daylight. It's a daylight. It's an open secret. What's going on? In the churches, what's going on? The priests, what are they doing? The Anglican Church has just written a new Ten Commandments. Do you know that? A new Ten Commandments? No, the new Ten Commandments for vicars. Vicars. Vicars means priests. How they must behave when the parishioners come along for solace and advice. I'm reading them to you. I'm reading to his off head. I wish I had brought it along. He's in my hotel room now. Hmm? A new Ten Commandments. He says, you must not entertain young woman late at night. Number one. <laughs> no, no, that's number one. You do not entertain or allow the, your parishioner to come and see you, young woman, late at night. That's number one. First commandment. So I'm asking, what do you mean by young woman? What do you mean by young? How young is young? Huh? The woman of 50, is she old? The woman of 60, is she old? What do you take me for? I'm 78. You think I'm old? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I'm 78, my wife is 75, and I tell you, we are not old. <laughs> I tell my wife, I tell my wife jokingly, I tell my wife jokingly, I said, look, you are old, I'm also old, you know? but you see, let me get some, somebody young, meaning get another wife. I said, let me get somebody young to help you. She, say, she says, I'll kill her. I said, no, no, no. I said, look, it's not her fault. I will bring her to help you. She said, I'll kill her. I said, why kill her? If anybody has to be killed, it's me. You know, I'm bringing her. She says, no, I'll kill her. <laughs> so I said, I can't afford a murder in the house. So I'm satisfied. But now... How young is young? You are as young as you feel. You are as young as you think. You are as young as you feel. And late at night. I said, what do you mean late at night? How late is late? You think you can't do wrong things five o'clock in the afternoon? Huh? Damn it all, you have to wait till midnight? Huh? You are a priest and this poor woman, and he said, now how you sit, you must behave. You must sit. You know, when the woman comes to you for solace, you don't sit, you know, with your legs stretched out on the sofa. And <laughs> no, no, you must sit with all due respect. And the lighting must be correct. The lighting must be right. <laughs> New Ten Commandments. New Ten Commandments. After 2,000 years of Christianity, today you have to learn how to behave with women who are not your wives and daughters. When my African people in South Africa, every tribe, Zulu, Kosa, Chwana, every African tribe south of the Zambezi, they have what they call Shonipa, respect for women. They don't intermingle in the primitive society. As Christians, of course, they have the Bible in the hand and they take everybody's wives and daughters to the dance. As Christians. But this, this primitive African, he has respect for women. What he knows, before the white man came, he had it and he still got it. Today, after 2,000 years, you have to be given new Ten Commandments, how to behave with women in a, of your church. Now, this is what it is. You are not reading your Bible. What the Bible says, don't offend the, one of these little ones. You, it's better for you that they put a millstone around your neck and drown you. It means kill them, kill them.
Next question, the lady over here. Hi, um, I just wanted to ask you um, if you can just talk briefly um, about how they say that a man can have four wives. Can you just, um, because it does sound very sexist, so I just was wondering if you can talk about that. <laughs> it's a little bit off the subject. The lady would like to know how can a man have four wives. I think it's a little bit off the subject. You'll answer, okay. Well, the Sheikh will answer you, even though it is a little bit off the topic. <laughs> now, this is the pet question. You know, when the Arabs, when they go to America or to Britain, the Westerner says, you come from Saudi Arabia? I said, yes. So how many wives have you got? <laughs> no, <laughs> how many wives have you got? So my friend, a bakar, not a bakar, Karim, Karim Bin Laden, a young man, he says, you see, when he goes to America, when the Americans pose this question to him, he says, he says, he says, look, I got only one wife. But this is a solution to your problem. This polygamy is a solution to your problem. You see, sir, you have a problem. You have in your country 7.8 million more women than men. If every man in America got married, there will be still 7.8 million women who will not be able to get husbands. And we know every man will never marry. Man gets cold feet for so many reasons. You know that? I meet a young man. How old are you? He says, 35. Are you married? He says, no. I say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you need a doctor? Shall I take you to the doctor to find out? You know? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come on. I said, there is a friend of ours. You know, he's got a daughter, good looking, well educated, good family. Come. He's right. He's right. I take him along, and when he comes to the crunch, he finds some excuse to back out. He knows the reason. He won't tell me. That may be at the back of his mind. He won't make the grade, man. You know, he has done so many abuses. He's finished. That guy, so he finds excuse for not doing that. Man, 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 man gets cold feet for so many reasons. But move women, you know, somebody to give them protection. They don't mind a husband. They don't mind a husband. Even if they're frigid, they're cold, they don't mind somebody to give them protection. I'm telling you, this is the psychology of women. But we know every man will not get it. Even if every man got married, there'll be 7.8 million women without husbands in America. And of the manpower they have there, there are 25 million sodomites. You call them gays. Another 25 million women can't get husbands. <laughs> then your prison population, 98% are males. Your prison population, 98% are males. I said, your problem is getting compounded. Islam offers you a solution. You laugh at us. I said, the laugh is on you. The laugh is on you. Islam says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book on earth. The only religious book on earth which has the statement, marry only one is the Quran. There is no other book, religious book on earth which has such a statement. The Quran says, marry only one, if you can't do this. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, over here. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Didad. Wa alaikum salam. In 1992, I had a brief experience with some Jehovah's Witness. They came to my house continuously. Alhamdulillah, I was introduced to your um, videos. They came to my house for three days, day after day after day. First, he was alone, then with his wife, and the third day with his son. Alhamdulillah, if you have advised me, I have done my homework. Um, chapter 3, verse 61, Al-Imran, it says, فَقُلْ تَعَالَوْ نَدْعُوا أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَنِسَاءَنَا وَنِسَاءَكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ ثُمَّ نَبْتَهْلِ إِلَى اللَّهِ فَنَجْعَلْ لَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ And I have read that verse...